Yo, what's up everyone? It's Matt Dimas here. Anyway, I, I, I just want to talk about um, Sonic Boom for a little bit. Alright, so last month, an ex-Sega employee talked about Sonic Boom and the problems they had during development. You know, Stephen Frost was the producer of his titles, and this is the ex-Sega employee we're talking about. Um, B. Hmm, let's see if I can get better than that. Probably not, because you have to go through that extra pathway to get the, the higher, to get to the higher area on the rocket to take off. Alright, sorry if I'm stuttering a little bit now because I have to concentrate, but anyway. Alright, so this is what Stephen Frost had to say. Here's the ex Sega employee. This is what he said. The biggest mistake in Boom was trying to cram too much into the game. Not only were we trying to just make a really good Sonic game, we were trying to add more to it. We overextended our grasp, in some ways. We were trying to add a bungee mechanic, we are adding combat, we are adding puzzles, vehicles, and... Oh my god, this is awesome. Sorry guys, um... <laughs> Uh, you know, vehicles, uh, trying to add combat, we're adding puzzles, vehicles, hopefully, oh my god. Hopefully a more compelling story in a bunch of different environments, and it's just a lot, you know? If it's any lesson for me, is that being too ambitious can be bad. <sighs> Frost then went on to, you know, talk about the future of Sonic and how single-player games starring the Blue Hedgehog just aren't viable anymore. You know, he said, Solo Sonic games, I don't know how long that can last. There isn't enough variety to sustain it. The future of Sonic games needs to be co-op. He said, it, it worked really well in Sonic Boom. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, community and online play sustains it. it you know, he said, it worked really well in Sonic Boom. Community and online playing that sustains it in general. But what? It's not even making sense right now. Anyway, he's basically saying that online sustains games. So anyway, um... You need to do multiplayer and add multiplayer aspects. That will sustain and keep the franchise, al franchise alive. Well, at least I got the bottom end of the rocket. I couldn't be bothered getting to the top end to get the A rank because it's so hard. <laughs> um, Alright, so now we know why this game failed. Because we had devs like this dude. Alright. Um, well, he's a producer, not a dev. And whatever. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Oh my god. Oh, I got one. Sorry to break up the immersion there, guys, but uh, it's just... <laughs> that was a bit silly. Anyway, um... Alright, so... It, you know, it, after reading what this guy said, now we know why this game failed. And, you know, sorry to say that, because I'm sure this guy's a nice guy, but... Come on, dude. B? Huh. You know, who the hell plays a Sonic game for multiplayer? Except maybe Sonic Adventure 2 Battle with its awesome multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Sonic Heroes is multiplayer too, I guess. Even though you had to unlock everything in the multiplayer and Heroes overall is kind of over underwhelming. Let's try, um, Radical Highway. And, uh... You know, um... You know, Sonic Heroes feels polished. Except for maybe the slippery controls and all that. Also, the co-op in Sonic Boom didn't work well at all, you know, I mean, I remember people saying that the Wii starts chugging like a train when two people are playing, it has something to do with the Wii, you need more resources or something. If someone's playing the game on the gamepad as well as the TV or something, I don't know, I haven't looked into it, you know. Look, a co-op Sonic game wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, you know, it was starting to go in that direction with Sonic 2 on Genesis, but Rise of Lyric, you know, wasn't doomed to be an embarrassment because it lacked multiplayer. You know, it was doomed to, embar to be an embarrassing failure the moment Sega, you know, handed the development over to Big Red Button. The terrible new character designs, you know, didn't ruin Sonic Boom at all, you know. I don't think, you know, they don't suit the characters. Or it's, it's natural that Knuckles could, should be bulky because you just had to take Sonic King's word that he was strong by with his old design, but... You know, I didn't like Amy's Muppet mouth, it just looked horrible. Anyway, um, look, it's pretty sad that Sega doesn't even understand their own intellectual property anymore. You know, I mean, once they start understanding their, I their IP, you know, it'll be good. You know, times have really changed. It, it sucks to see Sonic go off his meds again after a string of really good Sonic games. Like, the daytime levels of Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations. Hell, Sonic Lost Worlds are pretty fun as well. A bit tedious with the red rings, but whatever. 
Oh my god, this is awesome. See, this is what I want to see return, this sort of stuff. I don't care for combat, I don't care for boring levels, I don't care for riding a bicycle or anything like that. I just want high-speed platforming action. I mean, come on, guys. As bad as Sonic 06 was, at least it had platforming action and muck speed section that was on rails, which sucked dick, but we won't go into that. Wow, that was horse crap. Anyway, um, look, I'm not going to acknowledge the storybook games. Being on rails under the mercy of the Wiimote was torture anyway, so I'd rather not discuss that. <laughs> Why did the devs want to add so much stuff to Sonic Boom? You know, combat just bogs the pace down, in my opinion. And the Werehog showed us that. As a fact, actually. <laughs> you know, I at least the combat isn't as bad as Sonic Boom in Sonic Unleashed. It's not as bare, I mean. Oh, I did say that, whatever. <laughs> you know, playing Hyrule Warriors and Bane in the two on my friend's Wii U showed me how unexciting the combat is in Sonic Boom, in my opinion. Hmm. And with Sonic Colors, look, if you're going to have a gimmick, make sure you add it, make sure it can add fun to the game instead of take it away. The Werehog made the game tedious and took away the fun. The Wisps gimmick added to the fun, you know? Look, this is a message to Sega right now. Whoa! Oh my god. Uh! Sorry, guys. Um, look. This is the message to Sega right now. Whee! We need Sonic Adventure 3, guys. Make it happen. No, Sonic 06 doesn't count. I don't want that. I don't want a rushed mess like that. Take your time and stop cutting corners to meet deadlines. Okay. One of the things while playing Sonic Boom that really pissed me off was the fact that there's like, um, oh, sorry guys, I'm just trying to focus here. Yeah, there's the fact that you can't run fast in hub worlds and shit. You know, sure there's boosters and stuff, but you can't even turn while using them. Believe it or not, one of the main things that made Sonic Cell was speed and platforming, coalescing. Here you got speed, yeah, on rails with a chucking frame rate when you're going through loop-de-loops and platforming. Which reminds me of something at the Crash Bandicoot. Oh my god, that was cool. You know, I mean, these guys have turned Sonic into just a run-of-the-mill platformer. You know, something that Sega mucked during the early 90s, you know? If I can't go fast as Sonic in a spin-off game or otherwise, then what's the point of fucking playing Sonic games at all, you know? You guys see this. This is what I like. Going really fast through loops. Well, scripted loops, yeah, but it's a spectacle to look at. Oh. Oh, wow, that was cool. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, that was absolutely terrible, guys. Oh, the cheap enemy placement is so real. How the hell did I get a B? Anyway, guys, um, look, um, you know, Sonic Boom looks like a PS2 game, guys. Jesus. It's clearly unfinished and rushed beyond belief. Look, guys, it's okay. I'm quite happy to wait. I don't care if you guys take two to four years making a new epic Sonic game. As long as it's polished. You know, you know what I mean, guys? Um, look, um... Sonic Boom could quite possibly be the worst Sonic game I've ever played in my life. You know, with Sonic 06, at least the music is awesome. And to be honest, guys, I found the Sonic stages to be quite fun. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Look, with Sonic Boom, there's so many glitches that remind me of the worst parts of Sonic 06. Enemies clip through the floor. There's a glitch you can do with Knuckles that lets you continuously jump so that you can completely break the game. Why do I need to ride a boat and shoot things? Why can't I just play a Sonic and Hydro Dash everywhere? You guys said you guys clearly said that you're able Sonic's able to run on water, so why could I do that anywhere? Why do I need to ride a boat? You know, I mean I know kids will eat this Sonic Boom game up regardless, but there really is no excuse for such a dilapidated execution, guys. Um Anyways. Sonic Adventure 3, man. It's gotta happen. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that, and I guess I'll just finish this level and we'll wrap it up. <coughs> if this capture card doesn't fuck out on me, which has happened before, trust me, guys. 
This microphone's all sorts of fucked up right now as well. The pop filter screwed on it and shit. And I've had issues with the card where I've had to convert videos with handbrake, but I never ended up using them. Like the, I would export it in the Elgato software and the audio would be all out of sync. And I realized what the problem is, I went, wow, scripted goodness. <laughs> You no, know, I realized what the problem was. I had the um, encoding thing set to software instead of my uh, GPU. So, yeah, so if anyone's having any problems with that, that's what you gotta do. Change it to um, your GPU instead of the software built-in thing, whatever it is. I don't even know. I don't even explain it that well on the website, what it does. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, that was cool. Oh, wow, that was, that was like a golden um, badnik, right? I get like a lot of points for that or something. Yummy. Gimme, gimme. This beautiful. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your generosity. Whoa. Whoa, oh my god. Oh, I just missed that one. Oh well. Who cares? I'll just take this one instead. Woo! I don't think I'll be getting an A rank. <laughs> But I think I did okay. I know that Shadow's supposed to be the hard mode, so his A rank's probably like 30,000 or something. And what? Ultimate victory. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment under this video to tell us what you think. Thanks, guys. Peace.